Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna be going through why calories in, calories out is wrong, it has nothing to do with how we process food and how. So firstly, the definition of a calorie is a unit of energy equivalent to the heat energy needed to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. All right, so this is a calorimeter. This is how they measure calories in food. Um, calories are relevant to closed thermodynamic systems only. This is a closed thermodynamic system. Um, what they do is basically they combust the food and that's how they measure the calories. They combust it. And humans do not combust food. We're not a combustion engine. We're not a closed thermodynamic system, unlike that. How animals process energy. So we process it chemically in the cell, in the cytoplasm, in the mitochondria. This is an example of, of a fatty acid beta oxidation. Um, so you take a fatty acid like uh, palmitic acid, uh, palmitic acid, and then you use all these enzymes and you get ATP precursors called such as acetyl-CoA. And basically ATP is what we use for energy not calories, not heat. Um, we use the energy released from phosphorylizing ATP into adenosine diphosphate. From adenosine triphosphate, we remove one phase phosphate group and we get adenosine diphosphate. Then that energy is captured um, in a proton chain and we use that. So substrate efficiency. Yeah, I, okay, I spelled efficiency wrong, whatever. Ignore that. This is a glucose molecule. Glucose has four calories per gram. This is a steric, a steric acid molecule. It's a um, saturated fatty acid. It has nine calories per gram. But glucose, when it's metabolized through gly glycolysis, is going to only produce 30 ATP. Unlike steric acid, which is going to produce 120 ATP. So we can see the fatty acid is 2.25 more calorie dense than glucose but can synthesize four times ATP. This just proves that calories are not relevant to how we process food. That alone proves it. Next is seasonal change. So in the winter time, we're gonna have more brown fat cells, which are gonna have more mitochondria. It's gonna upregulate mitochondrial biogenesis. And that basically means it's gonna be able to metabolize food more efficiently, metabolize macronutrients more efficiently, substrates. And this is to preserve heat in the winter to um, create more body heat. In the summer, we conserve energy to fuel growth and insulin sensitivity goes up. So your ability to uptake glucose quickly into the cell improves. Next is mitochondria function. So the function of the mitochondria, sorry function of the mitochondria greatly affect how we metabolize food and nowadays most people have mitochondrial dysfunction due to many different um, factors like emf especially radio frequency it does this by altering the voltage gated calcium channels and this just basically floods the cell with calcium and creates a lot of stress on the mitochondria uh sorry floods the mitochondria with calcium not the cell Disrupted light signals, um, basically from melatonin and everything, um, like a melatonin. And there's a couple ways carbohydrates do it majorly. So first would be fructose. This is how fructose is metabolized in the liver. Um, basically depletes ATP, uh, causes reactive oxygen species to synthesize. So that causes oxidative stress and uric acid production, quite stressful for the mitochondria. And when you consume food that has carbohydrates, when you metabolize carbohydrates, you're gonna produce metabolic water at 150 parts per million deuterium compared to when you metabolize fat, which is gonna be 120 parts per million deuterium. 155 is very high. That's gonna um, slow down the mitochondria because it's a heavy hydrogen um, compared to this optimal 120 parts per million. Also, when you're consuming anything with carbohydrates, the there's going to be a lot of deuterium in that already. So, yeah. So, deuterium and fructose and EMFs and disrupted light signals all affect the metabolism. Next, we have the thyroid. So, T3 
hormones. Um, when you have healthy T3, you're going to have more mitochondria and the mitochondrial enzymes are going to be active. So if you have a damaged thyroid from EMFs, uh, disrupted melatonin, again, light signals and lack of DHA, iodine and zinc, because that's what synthesizes these T3 hormones, um, you're going to have worse metabolism because of that. And lastly, we have hormones. So when insulin is higher, you're going to store more fat. This means that if you consume, let's say, uh, 300 calories of pure sugar compared to 300 calories of fat, because your insulin is going to be way higher from the sugar, you're going to promote fat storage. You're going to inhibit fat met metabolism, lipolysis, and you're going to promote fat storage, fat creation, fat storage. And adrenaline and glucagon both promote um, quicker metabolism. So adrenaline, if you're doing some kind of exercise, you're going to uh, metabolize, synthesize ATP quicker. Um, so like this is why when people drink coffee, they get more energy, but it's not from the coffee, of course. They're just upregulating the ATP production from their food already. This is why they get lethargic quicker. Like once it runs, uh, once they crash, they get lethargic because they've just run out of uh, food to metabolize, basically. And glucagon promotes gluconeogenesis, so glyconeogenesis. This is going to send glucose out into the bloodstream to be metabolized quicker uh, in need of stress. So yeah, now we can see clearly from this that calories don't play a role at all in how we process food. We do not combust food. Uh, we process food chemically, as you can clearly see. So, yeah, if you guys want to learn more like this, but actually how to apply it to your um, life to get healthier, you should join my private community. It'll have every aspect, every, hmm? every aspect <laughs> you need to optimize your health through ancestral diet and living, all explained biochemically. I also do private coaching, so click the link below if you want to. You don't have to. It, we're helping a lot of people there. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.